Hello, everybody. Hi. I oh, hope God, you can you. hear and see us very well. Yes, please tell us now before <laughs> <laughs> somewhere have through the stream it says you're either too loud or too too quiet. <laughs> Everything all right? Yes, uh, although it is forbidden in Germany to actually buy firework this year. Some people do still have it and they are... Apparently it's Sylvester, New Year's, that's why they are loud outside. Yeah, but you know, it's Berlin, Sylvester starts in autumn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Thomas says we can hear you loud and clear. Okay, Great. so if... Nothing's working, and we didn't notice. It's Thomas's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Uh, so I guess Austria is the same than Lord Kalf. <laughs> <laughs> so is it um, also forbidden to to buy them this year in Austria? I'm wondering if it's all over, over Europe. Um, because in, I think in Netherlands, it's also forbidden. Hmm. I, I read an article the other day where they are concerned with how to store them. Because oh. you have like five tons <laughs> um, per storage hall. And it's just sitting there now. So we don't oh. want something like in Beirut? What happened there? In Beirut? Oh, you mean, oh, you mean... A months ago, the... a huge explosion. Yes. I mean, yeah, sure, but... sure, it wasn't just fireworks, but nitrate, I think, but still. Yes. Yeah, no. Um, but they had something, I think, 10 years ago, uh, where actually a factory, just uh, a firework factory, um, blew away half a village. So I think they are a bit scared that it might happen again. Yeah, I was looking forward uh, to the... that it is forbidden this year, but... Yeah. Now they changed it again. Very unlucky. But you think... Uh, but I mean, you are living in a village. You think it's better there than in the city? We will see. <laughs> so, um, in comparison to Berlin, you don't have these. We are starting with fireworks in November, <laughs> but the the thirty uh, first of December is yeah. So the yeah, we are in a village, and village people know how to party and. <laughs> The village so people know how to party. Yes, in the YMCA. <laughs> yes, they also know that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also looking forward because uh, it's with the two cats. Uh, they they go crazy and they get panicked. One of my dogs. So the. F the old one doesn't hear it anymore. That's kind of good, but difficult for other things. <laughs> and the other one is just barking when she just hears a door of a car uh, hmm. smashing or so. So she's very, yeah, she she's, hears it very much now, fortunately. So I hope this year is a bit calmer, but yeah, please. Yes. Uh, Lord Kaff says uh, he thinks yes, but it's not allowed to use them in the inner city also without the COVID. Oh, Didn't okay. know that. So Austria, <laughs> Austria is a bit uh, better than <laughs> here in <laughs> yeah. Germany, where you can use it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I think Berlin has two places right now where you aren't allowed to use fireworks. It's Brandenburg That's, Gate? Uh, no, Alexanderplatz and some somewhere else. Mm. But I don't think Brandenburg. Brandenburger Gate, I mean. Mm. 
Oh well. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm Let not going there the to find out anyway. So. <laughs> yes. And I, I, I also like fireworks if I'm Thomas if I'm far away, and I'm not standing <laughs> right next to people who are throwing the fireworks. But I think it would totally be enough if the city itself had one big firework and that's it. And the people just look at it and then they go home. No one has to start their fireworks at, I don't know, 10 o'clock in the morning on the, th the 31st of December until 6 o'clock in the morning. It's just, it's like a war zone here in Berlin. <laughs> yeah. So. Thomas is not a village people, he's a village person. <laughs> <laughs> but does he know how to party? Is the question. I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, greetings to Can't Sweden. <laughs> uh. So, how has everyone been these last two weeks? I'm also asking you girls. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I thought you know that. <laughs> uh, I have been getting back to programming. Uh, well, I, I was programming anyway, but I was programming in a productive manner. <laughs> and, it, and it was fun uh, for, <laughs> for quite some time. It wasn't, but now it's fun again and it's uh, really great. I had a lot of fun with physics. <laughs> Um, and I will show some of it later on, um, but it's it's still a little bit wonky and I think I added two bugs because I wanted to show off some of uh, Rina's new animations. Uh, so let's let's see if we encounter them. So it's yeah. Rina's fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> it's not yes. the animation. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a code. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah, I'm also fine. It's I, I'm very looking forward to the holidays now, and it's like this feeling of I I already want to just sleep, <laughs> but I'm also a bit hyped, and it's okay. I'm not drowned or something like that. It's <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fun. And uh, for work, I'm doing much organizational stuff at the moment starting to look for how to get console licenses and uh, funny stuff like that and yeah that's yeah. yeah we heard it could take a long time so we wanted to look into it sooner rather than later <sighs> yeah also gets a feeling we are still a bit too late already <laughs> Nah. But that's okay. We don't have to release it at the release date for the PC version, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I know that I think that's everybody who who talked with me about it said it's it's a bit of a hassle to uh get uh to release one game at the same time on every console. Hmm. No. So Thomas is asking how you'd get a console license. I have no idea. I'm just the artist. <laughs> I guess you write to Nintendo and ask, hey, can we, can we go on this bit? Yeah, we have this game. Do you want it? <laughs> on the store? It is much fun. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you get a share as well. <laughs> so I, I just, uh, I was just reading the other things about fireworks from Lord Calf and um, so on. But yeah, so to the question, at first you make an account. So I just started with, with Nintendo Switch. You make an account and this is already very, uh, a huge hassle <laughs> <laughs> because it's like you're filling out forms for the, I don't know what, um, Bundesministerium for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was just reading all these small letters <laughs> so 
the font was very small, really. So <laughs> I didn't want <laughs> to sound like mistake. grandma. I can't <laughs> read any of this. What is this stuff? <laughs> I didn't want to make a mistake because I, beforehand I spoke with someone from a PR agency who wants to um, yeah, support us later on when we release for PR stuff. And he said that we should make it very soon and uh, we should be very um, careful. Uh, so, hmm? Careful? Yes, careful. Thank you. So we don't make mistakes because if you want make one mistake, you get not banned, but <laughs> you, you will yeah, be pushed away from the platform for now. And uh, unless they publish you again, some weeks and months can pass by. So yeah, so yeah. Okay. I think he so no pressure, Sandra. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds. Yeah, that sounds tough. <laughs> mm. um, I'm looking forward to Xbox because it's it, it sounds very good because they are supporting indies very much. Mm. He said. <laughs> um, but I stopped at registering for the PlayStation because I don't know where to do that. <laughs> found a site, but yeah, I have to research a bit more. <laughs> maybe we can write a fun letter to PlayStation right now. Hey, after the disaster of Cyberpunk, maybe you want to promote a <laughs> small indie game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we are the next Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> we are not the next Cyberpunk. That is a very good thing to say right now, I guess. <laughs> Hey, do you want to publish us? We are not the next cyber. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's. I think that's a good hook. <laughs> I wanted yeah. to say. The I mean, we are up to date apparently with the games, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> Great subject for the m mail we are sending. <laughs> good clickbait. <laughs> Thomas, what are you selling on Amazon? If you have an Amazon seller account, if you want to tell us. If it's a secret, we can just guess. Yeah. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it feels weird so. in these days and age to... Um, Having to to write everything down because that's um, Some, somebody yeah. joins the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, Dante. Hello, Dante. Hello. hello. He's back again. <laughs> Why can you get? <laughs> now I have warm legs. <laughs> <laughs> ah. ah, okay. But is it still, is it still going on, even if it's not that good? So I, I, I just see it with my uncle's hobby project. He's um, knitting. Stricken. Is that knitting? Knitting. Um, yeah, knitting. And um, it's not much that he's earning with it, but he has to like some here. Yeah. Taschengeld. <laughs> <laughs> allowance? Yeah, it's yeah. like a small allowance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lord Kalf asks if we are in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> um. <laughs> it seems like not. <laughs> I, I, it, it, it depends. So the, the flat that we live in, definitely no, but we are not Christmassy people to decorate but um, I managed to send all the parcels with the presents out to my family on Saturday and we made Christmas cards for the family like my boyfriend's uh, side of the family is very big and traditionally they meet 
on the second day of Christmas and we can't this year. So we decided to write each other Christmas cards like in the old times. And um, that was fun. I created some sparkly Christmas cards. He had to write them, so that was okay, but <laughs> I created them. So. <laughs> and I don't know why now that I have got time because we're already in Christmas um, holiday spirit. I decided I am going to make a Christmas tree t tomorrow. How so, do you fold it out of paper? <laughs> <laughs> no, we have we have a woods in uh, in the we have a wood here, and I'm just going to get some sticks, and then I'll just hang. A Christmas tree and put ornaments on it mm. because my yes. family sent me packages as well and we have small gift thing in the hall and I just wanted to make a small tree to, you know no. to you also could paint it on the wall so I mean you have yes paint on the wall the Christmas tree <laughs> that wouldn't look tacky all year long except for Christmas <laughs> <laughs> But so I'm actually really in Christmas feeling because we already made the menu that we will bake in the next days. And tomorrow is the last day that I will go into the supermarket to shop for everything. So pray for me that I come out alive. <laughs> well, so I apparently to tomorrow I is don't know, fine. I, I hope so because Today <laughs> is like Monday, and on Monday everyone's in the supermarket because they had one day where they couldn't. But the, um, someone told us that they were at Kaufland today at 7 o'clock in the morning, and already then people were there and have loads of stuff and buying, and as soon as she was there it got fuller. So I'm a little bit scared tomorrow, but I just hope that when I go into a smaller supermarket that... There won't be so many people. My mother said, and she has to know, we should yeah. go on Monday. We were on Saturday and we were very, very lucky here. <laughs> was nothing, um, yeah, not many people there. But she said Monday the latest because everything, every next day will be very difficult that all the people are going crazy since December has started. Okay. And yeah. So well, that was good I'm, to know. I'm crossing my fingers for you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll also go after breakfast, so I'll just hope Atlas Hof is a little bit calmer than the big Kaufland somewhere. We'll see. I always find that if you go after nine in the evening, so basically nearly night, then it's really calm and it's very relaxing. But that might be also because I live in uh, Charlottenburg, at least some of the time, and <coughs> people are very old there and <laughs> don't go outside after dark. I'm just scared that when I go in the evening that nothing's left. <laughs> <laughs> so like I, I realized 10 o'clock was very good because everything was still full or they already managed to pack everything back at that time, but we will see. Um, that has nothing to do with Duro actually right now, but uh, <laughs> um, it has I don't know to when do I, with I mental health. <laughs> yeah, th that's true. I mean, I am going to try to make the Christmas tree ornaments out of paper, or I'm actually trying to do um, Salzteig. So it's it's um, some some dough. sort of dough. Yeah, a, a salt dough that it's just pure white and then you can make forms and when you bake it, it will just be hard. So I, I'm trying to do ornaments out of that, but it's not I like eating? the idea. No, it's not for eating. It's for the Christmas ornaments. Okay. And I like the idea of making mole rats out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. It's <laughs> mole rats. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the funny thing is that I'm more in a... I'm not too much of a Christmas person because Christmas I always associate with stress. And I think 
this year I'm more in the Christmas spirit because it's just uh, my boyfriend and my brother and my sister-in-law and we will have a nice dinner and maybe play a board game and that's it. And that's all I need from a nice evening. <laughs> yeah, so. totally feel that. And yes, that's what I thought too. And then we decided to make Christmas dinners and I realized <laughs> that you have to buy for these Christmas dinners <laughs> a whole lot of... A whole lot of stuff and also the 27th is a Sunday this year so you have to buy for one more day that you can't shop so yeah it's, uh, yeah we have a long list of things <laughs> that we need to buy so I I really appreciate what my grandparents do every year actually <laughs> it just for me it's after t the 20th when I'm at my grandparents house I just don't have to do anything <laughs> it's like they're always planning each meal like days in advance and I'm like yeah sure just <laughs> <laughs> and now I, I feel so grown up having to do that for my own Christmas <laughs> oh god <laughs> this, year, this year is also the first where I just planned all the meals for two weeks ahead <laughs> so let's head to the chat once more before we go to our uh, development process <laughs> finally <laughs> Um, so, closest is difficult on Amazon. <laughs> then, yeah, maybe oh, we... God. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> even, even in Vienna, you have to go at 7 p.m. and then afterwards everything is closed? My god. Uh, not, not Vienna. Yoda, yeah, Vienna. Okay. I don't know, I always associate, um... Like supermarkets, if they're not open until at least 10 p.m., I'm really stressed out because I used to uh, go shopping after I ended work, and it's like, who has got time to, to shop before 8 p.m.? It's like, no, no. <laughs> how can people do that? I think everywhere, then it's okay, because all the times are ticking different then. <laughs> not like now in like in bigger cities where you can go for shopping until 24, uh, 12 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, should we okay. show the thing that we did? The thing. <laughs> the thing. Let's do show it. Show the thing. <laughs> the one thing. No, we did more things. Uh, also, I, I did some editing work, um, and I think some of them you already saw, but there will some more, I think. We, we haven't showed the, the time-lapse, no? No, I think we wanted to wait until the stream and then we will post them. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, that was the plan. Sandra, you have not posted it. Sure, what you're talking about. So I think we didn't. <laughs> <post it. laughs> what? Oh, kitty. Maybe you talked about something when I wasn't there. <laughs> the... We have our secret code. We <laughs> won't cue you in. <laughs> okay. Um, it's my wonderful Unity testing scene, and I hope the stream will not die when I run it. Don't lie to everyone. That's the new dual version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we decided to simplify, go for like <laughs> blue blank background. The whole game. <laughs> yeah. okay. You only have two leap bail. And the blue background. <laughs> yes, you have, some you have the void. Okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, you can see it's it's a little bit rough with the uh, animation right now. And yeah, okay. So this is a bug that I um, put in by mistake. <laughs> it's an underwater scene. Uh, <laughs> the preview is. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit 
funny. Yeah, it's it's a little bit tactic. But <laughs> what you now can basically do is you can oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so oh, you God. can... You can hit him. <laughs> yeah, but I want... No, we didn't, we didn't see that yet. Um, what? Yeah, I, I wanted to show first that you can, you know, ping stuff of other stuff. And oh, oh, can open doors with style now. <laughs> um, so now you can show trick bit. shots in... Yeah, so, I mean... Now again. Here it doesn't make much sense because you could always, you know, uh, hit it from uh, back here. But uh, feel it in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what if you have something like this? Um, so okay, this is aiming on hard mode. I. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's hope for the best. Nope. <laughs> hmm. Let's just wait, I can do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... Excuse if my reactions are a little bit slow. I have to look at uh, look into this uh, at the stream right now, and I think there's a small delay for me. <laughs> but uh, I like that the, the stone is bouncy now; like it's made out of rubber. Yeah. Did I get it? <laughs> I tested it earlier, and it happened. It's not happening now. Maybe just make a bigger stone. <laughs> top up. <laughs> no. Cassie, haven't you learned anything about Beyond the Sky or something? They always used a video, uh, a pre-made video, and they showed our game footage. So, well, just recorded beforehand, and <laughs> but that wouldn't be <laughs> as funny as this. I think. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's that's the last try. So, Literally. Can't you just make a big stone and then have no. it higher place? Oh okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Tried it. Even if I wanted, I, I now I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> oh two two stones? No, three three stones are here. And under under not not up there. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have an idea of what Bea could do if you take too long in front of something. I hit it! I legit hit it! <laughs> it hasn't happened. Okay. You still have two left. <laughs> do I? I think that's the last one. I think one is more to the left, somewhere. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> I'm not even trying to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I have no idea. I, I guess that's... Um... So, I, I, I guess this is the hardcore level <laughs> design we have right now? <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, it, it's, it's like always, it's, it's a last minute bug. Um, maybe it's also because there's a black cat uh, in my presence. That's why it's not <laughs> happening. Oh, are you giving me bad luck? That is just a myth. Black cats are great. <laughs> yeah, and I mean he has, has a little small white dot. Uh... Yeah, but I, I, I won't attempt that again. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna uh, show off Verena's animations, because I haven't packed them yet. <laughs> <laughs> um.
Yes, physics are a crazy thing. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh well. Um. What now? What happened? Uh, Unity crashed. Oh. <laughs> I oh you can't see the the error window, but it will vanish. Um. So I will start it again. But uh I'll take the video. We have a video. Um No, I will I will show it in action. It works. <laughs> um promise. Well, but it's very interesting that now the people see how uh your <laughs> work is actually because Unity keeps crashing a lot, I guess. And you have to test all the stuff and it takes a long time and I mean, I always save like after everything I do, I just automatically save everything in case Unity just dies. But, um. Yeah, I mean. It's not the best, but, uh. It, it doesn't. Uh. There are times when it just crashes, like like crazy um but that, i mean w yeah. we did try to optimize uh our project this week as well so what i did the last days was actually just reducing the amount of layers that we have in the game because apparently we had a lot <laughs> I, I say it is also my fault because when I um, decided to make all the prefabs like the houses I was like okay so we need a layer for decoration but we also need in front decorations because sometimes you want to put something in front and also in the back so I had like I don't know 20 layers and because I'm also a noob with lighting light light lightning light, lighting, mm -hmm. lighting I apparently um, <laughs> lighting. lighting I apparently for the most of the lights in the um, in the colony and in the levels, every light had had to react to every layer, and it just was yeah, it, it was a lot. And I think the stream just broke down. Did it? Well, at least. Uh, it's fine. The stream is okay. Then it's my unity plays the stream. <laughs> Three people, sorry. if you can can hear us, give us a sign. Ah, okay. You're yeah. bored again. Give us a sign. <laughs> give us a sign. So maybe yeah. it's just my internet. Because what do I you know. want? <laughs> uh, okay, we can, okay. Okay. Can you see us? That is oh, okay. That is the question. I'm happy that every one of you just understands how testing works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but so, yeah. so uh, the the layers are reduced and I hope that our performance problems now are a little bit less of a problem actually. So okay. Then it's just my internet and just ignore me panicking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but while we wait for Unity, uh, Verena can tell us what the heck this is. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. So, um, you are showing the route right now? Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, well, we decided to um, give Tuli's dream sequences where she reviews her days and you see how Bill follows her. Um, to give a little creepy effect and the problem that she sees in the colony which is the uh, food scarce city so there's not shortage. enough sh shortage right um was also increased by uh worm infested roots that ate um a whole lot of roots up and so I wanted to make a statue into the dream sequence of these worm-infested roots. And because dreams are always, um, well, 
more horrid <laughs> and uh, übertrieben. Uh, over the top? Yeah, over the top. The root is just exorbitantly bigger and uh, <laughs> the worms are just slimy creatures. They will not move in the moment they are statues. We have to see if they should also move to increase the creepy effect. But we will see how, how it integrates into the the scene when we get there. Oh, Thomas says it looks like the kleine Raupe Nimmerset, but I think <laughs> it was kind of cute or not. <laughs> yes. So I, I know that book, but that w I didn't have that in mind when I created the roots and the... <laughs> so maybe we have to make them even ghastlier critters. Well, I don't know when they are moving and are slimy, then I think it is... Uh, <laughs> I think it's creepy enough, but we, we, we will see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so yeah, uh, today I, I was actually putting on normal maps onto the roots, so the light lighting gives shadows and lighting. so that was fun. Yeah. And maybe one step back, we um, decided to make such a statue because we also cut the demo in length. So we, yeah, just put some more story in the <coughs> in the dream scene. Yeah, maybe we should we should tell you about that. Uh, we had um, uh, a, a meeting the other day. It was actually just started out as about um, as uh, it started out as us talking uh, about the, our current state, and then it became like a prototyping session, basically game design <laughs> workshop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With awesome <laughs> scribbles. Awesome. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously not as good as mine. <laughs> but they came <laughs> close. <laughs> no, they were pretty in their own right. Um, yeah, and we had some... Uh, uh, ba basically, Sandra said, I have some ideas. And then she whipped out her, her notebook and we talked about awesome. it. Yeah, we see awesome scribbles, um, and we talked about uh, mechanics and what's missing, and uh, basically we talked about uh, game design and and the game in general. And we want to put it into a new demo, um, so that we have a more um, compact slice of the game so you can then enjoy everything a little bit more um, and it's not uh, so stretched out like our current demo is and hopefully also not not as buggy as well <laughs> <coughs> uh, still working on that but uh, yeah so we had some ideas for new objects uh, that truly can paint, also how to combine th combine them with the current ones, and uh, yeah, and I think we all got super hyped, and that was a great feeling, and yeah, <laughs> that is true. I mean, basically, we we realized having we thought that having a demo that could be up to two hours long is great, but then we also realized that maybe. The, the interesting part that we always say, mainly the gameplay with Bea, comes very late and some of the people wouldn't play through. And so we wanted to give everyone the opportunity to get to know the Bea. <laughs> bea ness <laughs> of the game. <laughs> the Bea. No one should be deprived of Bea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that's what we're currently working on that. Um, we can make the demo shorter, but more interesting and uh, bug-free. Yeah. <laughs> Not those bugs uh, in-game, but the, the game with the code bugs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
question. Ah, no, I'm just looking at the chat. And yeah, two more me too, and us. I have a question. <laughs> oh, you have a question about that, okay. Yeah, so I'm a Twitch noob, and what was this about someone raiding with another two persons? What? Yeah. This kind of advertisement? <laughs> raided with a group of two persons, I don't know. Isn't it when, when one stream ends and you basically then hop over to the next one? Or mm. maybe I'm mistaken. Yeah, maybe someone can tell us. <laughs> we all Twitch do so. <clears throat> yeah. Still learning something. So, ha has Unity started? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, it has okay, happened. So if um, someone writes the answer to Sandra's question. Uh... <laughs> this is stream and joining yours with people who still watch this. Ah. ah, so we should welcome everyone oh. after such a message, I think. That's nice. Okay. Thank you, Lord Kauf. <laughs> At least one professional here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's let's see if the first thing they see is <laughs> unity crashing. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if it's like too much for it because uh, at least on this computer it usually behaves very well so okay so one other thing you can do um, and you already kind of saw it earlier this you can annoy beer and you can annoy him to a point where it gets a little bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after so, we implemented, or Kerstin implemented the trick shots, we had the glorious idea <laughs> to give Bill more animations <laughs> when you hit it from different angles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and actually, um, Kerstin was like, okay, Sandra's not here, so I want to ask you to make more animations <laughs> where Bale gets even creepier if you throw it too much because it was like, give her more work. <laughs> but that was actually pretty fun to, to make. And it's actually, I think, the first for you guys to see Bale without his mask. And um, yeah, yeah, so you can uh, throw him from behind, throw at him from behind, from above, and from the front and yeah, he, will. he does not like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think we can make him a bit scarier and maybe add some particle effects to it yeah so I would maybe also do it after the second one but maybe after three or four times and then you can really just rage on yeah Right now, for for testing purposes, after the second one, he gets gets really angry. <laughs> I think not really mean, Thomas, because so Bill is always doing things against you. I think it's okay <laughs> that you now can take revenge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean when he doesn't do what you want to, then you can just throw rocks at him. <laughs> doesn't mean that he will do the stuff that you want to do, but at least you feel better. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, this time I... Yeah, he definitely, definitely hit it. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. there's some I kind of... I think never Huh. Okay. Maybe I should start making videos of stuff I want to show. <laughs> in case. Yeah, <laughs> just, just in case. <laughs> uh, and probably when I go, go through the trouble of doing that, then it will work every single time that is true <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah, something so, something's wrong with the level but at least you made a trick shot to hit bill <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah, good to see that you all <laughs> seem to like it <laughs> <laughs> and i i also think it's like yeah, this little gimmicks, I also like that in games and it's 
it, it gives it a bit more personality so the whole game not only be yeah also when you when like uh, uh, when I have not ruined okay so this was a hit definitely wow. <laughs> said it is rusty. <laughs> it's, it's I swear broken. it's okay <laughs> ignore it oh no it it and got stuck it. <laughs> I think I Oh no, okay. Yeah. Um I, I won't touch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean we, saw it. we we are making the game that you don't have any time pressure really, so you can just play along and make funny when you throw stuff. So that's what I also like in games. Yeah. They're immersive. <laughs> and yes, Lord Kyle, the level seems yes. suspect. <laughs> Suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> Once we close <laughs> Unity down it murders everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay um but but we can show um on a bit larger scale i hope no yes maybe ah there we go <laughs> um is is a new animation is that on the on the side is it already a particle effect you you played around with Oh, that's the particle effect of Beel in Tuli's dream. <laughs> I have my own scene where I just throw everything inside and just test it. And <laughs> uh, on the left side, there's a whole bunch of mole rats just standing and idling. So, uh, <laughs> the way that my uh, table looks when I work, exactly that's the way my scenes look when I work on them, in them. So it's just cluttered and I don't delete anything because I might use it someday. <laughs> oh, God. So now you know why uh, our game is so big. <laughs> <laughs> well, there will come a time where you have to yes. delete stuff. This, oh, <laughs> this angry... Hmm. How do you tell it? This angry crosses that are flying <laughs> around in the particle system. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I first thought that it would um, be part of the animation. No, it's, it's, it's a different. Up. It's a different uh, yeah. emotion. It's, funny. it's the mad emotion above the all red. So mm. in this scene, I just I test animations, I test particle systems, and so and if we later make more <laughs> animations from Bill, <laughs> it is getting even angrier. Maybe we can take that. I can put that on. Or what? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Mm. But later. Yeah. We have <laughs> so much other things to do. Yeah, and we can show one of those. Um. Uh, yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> 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 um. Maybe, maybe you should have t told people beforehand what what, what they will see right no. now. <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay. Let people no, guess. Yeah. It's no, fun. <laughs> yeah. And just tell us <laughs> what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody can have a guess. <laughs> so this is another test level. So that's not the new, um, not the Super new style of drill. <laughs> <laughs> we reduce it even more. Yes, <laughs> that's the not underwater level. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the night level. I, I wanted to say cave level, but actually Duro is in a cave, so. The rose is covering <laughs> her castle. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, this is uh, an experiment for... I mean, should we say it already or should we let people wait? Sure. Uh, Maybe, yeah. Do you want to guess? Or should we tell you now? Uh, rising rose rose. rose. Ah, but I'm really confused regarding the fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, well, it was just an experiment. And uh, this is actually... Yeah, it, it's not how it's supposed to look in the end. It's just what I was able to do by the... Uh, um, editing some code with my um, 
coding skills. Hacker skills? Oh, go, yeah, with my <laughs> hacker skills. So um, uh, we wanted to make uh, a new thing that Tuli could draw to help her maneuver through the levels. And um, we want to make some vines, which will grow into the air until they reach a platform and then they just stop growing. And then she can climb up on it. And the fire that Lord Kalf sees is actually the particle effect, a, a little bit more of a particle effect that uh, Tuli has when she draws the her, her stuff. And it's like kind of a place magic order. that it grows out of, the, uh, out of the ground. But I do guess in this situation it looks like fire. <laughs> 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 and um, yeah, Tuli can then climb up uh, those uh, vines and we aren't sure how Bale is going to interact with it yet. My idea was that as soon as Tuli is trying to climb up, he will run to the vine and then start e eating it and it will go down again. So you have to be quick again. But that is definitely not implemented in here with my beautiful code. So um, the, the base is like how it grows. Someone else wrote and I just put in the particle and made the end of the vine appear out of magic. It's not like I put it there and just turned on the opacity. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to grow on with the with the vine, but I I, I, I tried. I failed miserably, Cassie. I'm sorry. And no, it's not. I fireworks. know the logistics behind it. You're but, fired um... as a developer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You have to be art from now on. I think that's okay. <laughs> no, not art, please. You can do PR <laughs> stuff if you want to. And animation. <laughs> oh yeah, and marketing. <laughs> and oh, please not finances. That. that would be really weird. <laughs> um. Super fun. Yeah, our channels would be very quiet if I would have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, so uh, that is one of the new things that we want to play with to see if that works, how we think about it, uh, think in our minds. <laughs> BL actually does what we think it will do. Yeah, and we also already thought about it not always going straight, but you can like rotate it as well. And with the, uh, you know, the crazy throw mechanic, <laughs> um, it might work really well because then you could, um, if there's not not a uh, wall in the right angle, then you can make your own and then um, throw throw stone at a level you otherwise wouldn't reach. So yeah, so this is one of the other objects. Um, we already talked about the next one, but I think that's more fun to show once it's done. <laughs> so we will keep it a secret for now. Yes. I'm not sure what you mean. I, I hope I think on the right thing. Oh, so then it's even a secret for you. Yes. <laughs> next stream, you remember, will be very so. surprised. <laughs> How it isn't you? something that is implemented right so it, it is prototyped right now or not it's something no. we talked about yeah and i was very excited about it because it makes noises noises yes it makes funny noises <laughs> okay sandra needs holidays <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she forgets her own ideas <laughs> noises it was my oh. idea oh Stuff like Something with light? <laughs> no? Okay, I need holiday. I forget whose idea was, was whose. <laughs> we should talk about the now nah, after the stream. Yeah. <laughs> you know for the jumpy jumpy. Ah. Okay. So, was if, it the light? If you listen yeah. now, Thomas, maybe you re maybe you know what. At least how the next uh, thing that Tuli can draw helps. Yeah. Helps her. It's for the jumpy jumpy and it makes funny noises. Yes, yes. <laughs> now I know. Everything's Sorry. set. <laughs> <laughs> this particle effect just... Yes, you can... Made my can... focus too light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just turn off the video now. I think people understood that something grows out of the ground and is on fire. I okay. I <laughs> see it some... 
We still have four minutes, minutes left. <laughs> yeah, oh, see, Thomas wants to know. No, no, yes, the, now everything is clear, he says. Yeah, it's jumpy jumpy and that yeah. makes a sound. Can't see animations. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll see when we can show it. Maybe next stream, maybe the one after, depending how much time goes in, into fixing whatever mess I made of the spring mechanic. Um, and then, I mean, I mean, I think the groundwork for, for the vine is already there, <laughs> but having, having it interact uh, might be a bit tricky. Yeah, I mean, you have to, at the moment it's an image, but you have to make it so Tuli realizes that she can climb onto it. So. Hmm. Yeah, and I, I also think we didn't want to put it into the demo that we need in January? Or did we? I'm not sure, probably not. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, but we can still show, but yeah, we should. Yeah, Sandra. If we yeah. are super fast, <laughs> then... Taking all the fun of game out of game design. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the time, you know? <laughs> no, no, Sandra is absolutely right. We need to yes. finish the demo, polish it, Cut it, stitch oh, it back together. <laughs> I'm always the boss verderber. Party no, pooper. Ah. <laughs> you are not. You are grounding but us. we don't have good. time. <laughs> There's a steam festival we want to take part. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's what the demo is for, mainly. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we did. Did done did the last two weeks. <laughs> um, yeah. I always have the feeling it's like nothing new, and uh, not nothing new, but it always seems like for two weeks work. But so much goes on in the background that we just can't show because sure, I can show you four layers that we decided on and then how it looks compared to it used to look but it's not fun <laughs> but um why, why don't you show us how you optimize the layers now in real <laughs> real life <laughs> real time uh... real time like make a video out of just now. clicking <laughs> now i don't think so that i can do it it's casting has to do it but i don't want to actually it's not that interesting it's just having hundreds of grasses was the best put on the layer of background <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i mean i mean half of of the stuff we have to do is not development on duro directly i guess like time wise yeah or or is it too too optimistic of an estimation because there's a lot of uh, organizational stuff um, that we always have to figure out, and then, yeah. But um, <clears throat> I guess it's normal. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, our... yes. I'm currently I'm I'm feeling quite good because it's yeah. uh, uh, it's it's progress again, and I can show something even if it's a bit broken. Um, yeah, that is right. I mean, when I was working on the animation of um, of Bale again, I was like, ah, I didn't work in Spine for such a long time. It's so much fun. <laughs> 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 and you also saw progress right now, and I could al already integrate it into Unity just to play with it myself. So I could also see how it would look in game, so I was happy as well. And that's the good stuff. <laughs> seeing seeing what you do makes making impact or yeah. yeah. As long as all our community members here are happy with us, I think we can also be happy with us. That's true. <laughs> uh, also hello to Hazel Wolfspells. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas as well. Uh, yeah, stay healthy. Yeah, we are fine. Yes. 
Yeah, find and healthy and happy about progress. <laughs> it's, yes. it's the way to sum it up. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine and well and happy about our progress. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So. so does anyone has any questions before we go into our Christmas holidays? Yes. Yes, because we actually decided today is the last day we work on Duro for this year. Under pressure. If during <laughs> the holiday times we have uh, an inspiration or something and we want to work on it, sure, but we are not feeling obligated to work. So we will just be sitting, I mean, I will just be sitting on the couch playing Eating Minecraft. cookies. <laughs> Eating yes. cookies, cookies and watching Drei Haselnüsse für Aschenbrödel over and over again. <laughs> on the uh, <laughs> television you <laughs> still the television don't record, have in your not room there. In your wall yet. I know, <laughs> it will. Tomorrow I have time to unpack it. Yeah. I thought you wouldn't <laughs> wanted to do it on the weekend. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I think Verena froze. Mm, but it's funny. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'll make a screenshot. <laughs> um, so yeah, why, why Verena hopefully recovers from her freeze frame. <laughs> oh, there she is. I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. <laughs> oh. uh, so did you hear me talking the whole time or did you nope. just... Was it just... Okay, cool. uh, I just kept on talking in case, um, you know... The, the stream would go on, but yeah, I'm um, back. <laughs> so, so last question uh, from me to to you both and to everybody in the chat as well. Uh, have have you something planned for the holidays for yourself? I don't mean like uh, visiting parents uh, or family. Um, I mean like I don't know, reading that book that sits on the shelf for too long, or finishing that game, or taking a bath, or I don't know, baking your beauty day. Whatever is is the thing that relaxes you most. I have so many plans, but I don't know if they will happen. <laughs> it's <laughs> always like, oh, I want to do that, and then I want to clean that room, and then I want to read that book, and in the end, I just lay down on the couch, eat cookies, <laughs> and that's it. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's a valid relaxation way. Yeah, it is. I, so that's my. Uh, minimum plan <laughs> that I just do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything more will make me happy. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I would. I'm actually going to play a lot of Minecraft and going to cook and yeah, just try to relax and not go on to the computer a lot. I mean, maybe if we play Minecraft together, but um, not on a working kind of way. So I'll try to just, yeah, keep keep the laptop closed or non-private stuff. Yeah, Minecraft is also on my list. Um, and I started playing uh, Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, because hmm. we talked uh, about it in the Discord recently. And uh, I was playing it yesterday, I started yesterday evening. And my boyfriend was sitting next to me and he, he didn't play it when, when, he was, uh, when he was young and when it came out. And I think he had quite the culture shock from, from the <laughs> graphics. <laughs> because, you know, it's, it's from an emulator and it doesn't look <laughs> that great in a high resolution. Yes, except for the moon. The moon is always cool. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I, I enjoyed it, but I, I'm not sure if I had like a, a different hearing when I was younger, but it has so many sound effects and they are constantly <laughs> there. <laughs> and I can see how that annoys people. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's my, my two things. So, uh, oh, for Lord Cap, it's the Lord of the Ring plus Hobbit Extended Marathon. <laughs> oh, right. Christmas movies. Christmas movies. Right. The Die Hard series. <laughs> <laughs> How many I mean, are just, there? Uh, yeah, well, there are five, but 
the Christmas movies are only one and two because they play on Christmas. Oh, okay. The other ones are not Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and there are only three good movies. Maybe the fourth one was okay, but... Okay. The you one in Moscow a... is not talked about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are a diehard connoisseur, I see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Thomas plans to work a little bit every day. Uh, that's about it for him. Uh, rest is all about going for walks, playing and eating cookies. Yes, that sounds great. I mean, if you work out every day, you can eat a cookie. That, that's why you work out, right? Isn't going for a walk working out? Yeah, I plan to work out a little bit every day, not work. Oh, sorry. No, no, I mean, <laughs> I mean so for me, Going for a walk is also working out. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> uh, I got back into somewhat of a workout routine um, with with the fitness boxing game on on the Switch. Um, but it's uh, like on the on the harder difficulties, you actually start sweating. So it's good, <laughs> but it doesn't recognize all the movements every time. Yeah. And, it, and it also feels weird if you basically just do shadow boxing all the time and there's never like uh, um, resistance to your punches. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. Can change that. <laughs> you offering? No. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't share one flat. <laughs> <laughs> Very unfortunate. Yeah, and you're hard to reach. Guess you know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boxing, Boxing bag. <laughs> Kerstin also <laughs> had an idea for that, yes. Yeah, I yeah, wanted to that's have... That's Kerstin's plan. <laughs> yes. I want to have a um, like a standing punching bag, and uh, I will actually move uh, next year. Um, so it's uh, like in in the um, how do you say it in the uh, first floor, like the one that is like right above ground the floor. Ground floor, yes. <laughs> English language is, is so nice. It's a, it's a floor <laughs> on the ground. It's a ground floor. <laughs> um, I'm work. Oh, hey! <laughs> um, and so I won't be bothering anyone when I punch it, uh, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, but there, I think the better ones are quite expensive, so I have to wait a bit for that. But it will happen someday. We were expensive. all so happy when Kerstin got the um, the email with "You have the flat <laughs> that you chose," because it's in Berlin, guys. Yes. She managed to find find a new flat in Berlin. <laughs> yeah, and, and for a reasonable price as well, uh, which is not a given. Uh, yes. And it's also like like moving to a village, at least for me, because I always <laughs> lived in the like inner circle it's of Berlin. Friedrich's kind, kind of not really that far away. <laughs> well, it's, no, it's to, kind uh, of a village. See, it's very calm there. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's ninety minutes away from from the flat office, so it's kind of far out. But yeah, you... but the flat office is not going to stay when you get yes. that. <laughs> Yes, Thomas, Here's I the found the only available flat in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's so, even though Berlin, yes, but Friedrichshagen is different. It's not really Berlin. Yeah, it's, it's, it's out there. <laughs> There's the Mücke, the lake. lake, it has yeah. woods, and it has, it's very old, so it's very beautiful. Yeah, it's everything I want. And it has a shopping street, so there are not a lot of cars there. I hope. I think they are living. Reduce the cars. Many old people, rich old people, <laughs> and Kerstin. <laughs> <laughs> so she moved from a place where 
our rich old people to another place where there are <laughs> another rich old people. Yeah, I'm but a different time <laughs> because you are moving to the east of Berlin. Yes. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and you can become an, a rich old person there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, well, we have to see how well Duro does. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but but yeah, it it will be a bit calmer also because it's. I mean, right now it's it's a bit better, but we live on a very busy street where a lot of cars and a lot of trucks, even at night. Uh, not so much since Stiglitz. Corona started. Uh, in Stiglitz yeah, in or Stiglitz. there? Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, in Charlottenburg, it's it's where where my actually actual flat is, but most of the time I'm also here, like during the weekends mainly sometimes even doing music it's complicated but uh, <laughs> uh it's it's a bit noisier here um so in charlottenburg charlottenburg is really nice and um, yeah so this was the full on ramble about the the living and flat situation in berlin and see thomas is also recommending places with old people yeah cars are <laughs> very harmless <laughs> <laughs> But don't um, be tricked by that. We also have a lake here and nothing happens here. Very <laughs> few people are living here. But when summer was and the lake was overfilled with people, there was an um, accident with an old man or woman, I don't know, that was driving into uh, yeah, uh, another woman on the street because the person was too old to drive it looks like oh. he or she was too old to drive and uh, yeah so it was kind of a kind of news here in the village <laughs> <laughs> so don't trust old people when they are driving <laughs> it's not always good <laughs> yeah. yes i'm also very happy that my grandfather is not driving anymore so he was like i'm not allowed to drive if it's dusk so if it's Like the sun goes up or down because then I can't see anything anymore. I'm like, oh, wow. great. How about stop driving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How old is he? Um, of course, I know how old my grandfather is. I think he's over 80, so <laughs> let's keep with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But I mean, he's still fit. Just his eyes are not that good anymore. But, yeah. but I think it's also more relaxed. I think. It's what? It's, I think it's more relaxed if they don't have to drive anymore. Yeah, well, now during Corona, I would have loved it if they'd still have a car. Yeah, okay. I, I get okay. that. Because they live in a small flat in the middle of Berlin. And they're like, well, we need to go out and take our walks and we don't want to just go to the park that's right next to us so we drive with the transportations to far away places mm. yeah guys stop doing that but okay <laughs> dear <laughs> but they're doing well right now so okay <laughs> they are just uh they are sad that i don't want to go over there for christmas but they do understand why i try to avoid that right now <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's How very, you translate very wise that? and uh, old <laughs> German saying. <laughs> uh, the bigger, the bigger. So Google says this is the bigger, the bigger. But I don't uh, think so. <laughs> uh, the older the, they get, the, the crazier bigger. they become. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The older the not here. Yeah? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Maybe at Christmas the times, crazier, yes. but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it it fits the Christmas theme. Yes. <laughs> but it's also so funny that when I talk to them on Skype, so you do realize that they live in a whole different kind of world world, because they were like with lockdown, so. Do you have every presence already or how will you buy some stuff? And I was like, yeah, 
internet happened. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're they're cute in their own kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. I yes. think that's that's enough of ramble. <laughs> we we are drifting off again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Started with Duro, went to the Christmas plants, and then we are with old people and the internet, <laughs> which is quite <laughs> fitting for the Twitch stream, if I'm honest. <laughs> what is this raiding? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wonder how it will be when we are old and the young people will say X, Y happened. Yes. Yes. So, but I actually really do hope that when we are in old retirement's home, that everyone will have PlayStations or Xboxes or whatever console there will be at that time. And old people are just sitting there playing Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're having LAN parties again. <laughs> we, we can talk about this on the Discord while everybody else moved on to the next thing. <laughs> I think Lord Kalf is making something with Beal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's making a, a Beal red-nosed reindeer. Oh, oh we, then we can rename the, uh, uh, the channel. Um... Oh no. Oh, I'm gone. Verena, where are you? <laughs> where are you, Verena? Can you hear us? I, I, <laughs> I just, I was just gone. I, I'm here. still here, but hmm. yeah, okay. Uh, so um... I will just be the voice of the off, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it's okay, Cassie. Don't don't delete anything more. <laughs> you want to rename what? The channel? Uh, yeah, yes, I wanted to yeah. rename the um. Uh. The, the cave painting channel. Ah, the artworks channel, you mean? Do I mean that? So it's it will become some something of an artwork channel? Yes. Fan art channel? So artwork. there we can have like Christmas beer. Yay! Yes, every artwork that you want to do. <laughs> yeah, and our first duel party we will have a look when we celebrate that. <laughs> yeah, I, I make one last try to get Verena back, but I I'm not sure if it happens. I think that's Verena's Maybe. second try to just go offline. I don't know if the layers are... Uh, so do you have to work with layers or how do is it working? you have to work with, with layers? With OBS and maybe I just went in the background. I don't know. Have fun, Malua. <laughs> bye bye. And have a. Yeah, I mean, we, we wanted to, to, to go <laughs> into the goodbyes anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice. I hope they can see you while we do this. <laughs> okay, so that's, <laughs> that's ugly. That's the best I can do. Oh, but now I'm not there. Wait. Yes, now you are not Behind there. the scenes. Wait. <laughs> there. There yeah, we okay. have it. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, that's that's a good way to um, end the year, I guess. <laughs> so we have the chat. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I don't know, we can't see you. <clears throat> Wait. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we hope you uh, enjoyed the stream. We hope you will have a calm, uh, nice uh, Christmas holiday. Um, and yeah, hope hope to see everybody in the next year. <laughs> no, yes. please, please. It will be a little bit quieter from from us during these times because, like we said, we want to do nothing. <laughs> Um, but there's also uh, uh, always uh, like the Discord. Um, yes, of course. Where we old folks go. <laughs> <laughs> um, when will the next stream be? Fourth of January, asks Thomas. Um, it's planned this way. So. Um, 
so uh, the question is if we already have something to show by then but i mean we can always uh, have a small stream and talk yeah <laughs> well, <laughs> it can be a birthday stream do we want to do this no somebody will be old then <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is already so. old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, because so, yeah. Sandra will turn 40 in, on <laughs> <laughs> The good thing is, nobody will believe it. <laughs> yeah, Even if it was true. Yeah, because you don't look a day over 20. Oh, I, I, bought, I bought wine on Saturday and yeah, what yeah. should I say? I, I had a what? A mask Sorry, on. Sorry, was it? Yeah, the mask on. And <laughs> if my husband wasn't be next to me, standing next to me, then I would have been forced to show my ID again. <laughs> so <laughs> I just held this stunning. What is uh, stunning? Blick. Uh, uh, I was focused. The look. <laughs> It was like, are you really 18? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But yes, I'm not turning 40, but other people are not turning, not turning 40. 40 as well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Not turning 40 is the next not turning 30. <laughs> but I think that ship has sailed. Um, okay. All right. So yeah, let's yeah, we'll all stay healthy. Yes. And we'll see us hopefully on the fourth of January. Yeah. All right. Then have a good night, everybody, and let's <laughs> let's end this ugliness of a <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes. Uh, thank you for the nice chat again. It was. A great way to end our uh, working year. At least for me, it was. <laughs> Much love. Yeah. Aww, thanks for making 2020 special, even if it was kind of <laughs> difficult. Yeah. I don't have a cookie. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> okay. No. Say goodbye, Marina. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>